Cognitive learning is an important pillar of psychology and it explores the mental processes and structures that shape how we acquire, store and use information. It is different from behavioral learning which is based on observable behaviors and responses to stimuli. Cognitive learning focuses on how individuals acquire knowledge and understanding through mental processes. Hi guys, welcome to this channel. Let's unravel the intricacies of cognitive learning and shed light on this fascinating realm of human cognition. Cognitive learning refers to the acquisition of knowledge, skills and understanding through mental processes like perception, memory, problem solving and critical thinking. It emphasizes the role of cognitive structures and functions in shaping how individuals learn and adapt. Prominent figures of cognitive learning include Jean Piaget, who focused on cognitive development in children, and Lev Vygotsky, known for his sociocultural theory that emphasizes the role of social interaction in learning. Albert Bandura's social cognitive theory also plays a significant role in understanding cognitive learning. Examples of cognitive learning are plenty in daily life from solving a complex math problem to memorizing a poem. Learning a new language, understanding scientific concepts, and grasping the rules of a board game all involve cognitive processes and structures. One important aspect of cognitive learning is insight learning. Insight learning is when an individual suddenly realizes the solution to a problem or understands a concept without the need for trial and error learning. It involves the sudden restructuring of a person's mental representation of a problem or situation, leading to the emergence of a new perspective or understanding. One famous example of inside learning is the experiment conducted by psychologist Wolfgang Kohler with chimpanzees. In the experiment, Kohler placed a banana just out of reach of a chimpanzee in a cage with a stick. The chimpanzee tried various ways to reach the banana using the stick but was unsuccessful. Finally, after some time had passed, the chimpanzee suddenly had an aha moment and used the stick to reach the banana, demonstrating insight learning. Another important aspect of cognitive learning is latent learning. Latent learning occurs when an individual learns something new but does not demonstrate that knowledge until a later time when it is needed. The learning is said to be latent because it is not immediately apparent but rather emerges when the individual is motivated to use the learned information. A classic study of latent learning was conducted by psychologist Edward Tolman with rats. Tolman placed rats in a maze and allowed them to explore without any reinforcement or reward for finding the way out. He found that even though the rats did not show any immediate improvement in navigating the maze, they were able to find the way out faster when given a reward later on. This demonstrated that the rats had learned the maze layout through latent learning and were able to apply that knowledge when motivated to do so. Inside learning and latent learning are important aspects of cognitive learning because they highlight the role of mental processes in acquiring knowledge and problem solving. These types of learning demonstrate that not all knowledge is acquired through direct reinforcement or conditioning, but can also emerge through sudden realizations or stored information that is later retrieved when needed. Cognitive learning involves various components including attention, perception, memory, problem solving and critical thinking. These components work together to enable individuals to process and internalize information effectively. Memory plays a crucial role in cognitive learning by encoding, storing and retrieving information. Short-term memory is responsible for holding information temporarily, while long-term memory involves the more permanent storage of knowledge and experiences. Problem solving is a vital aspect of cognitive learning, requiring individuals to use mental processes to find solutions to challenges or puzzles. It involves planning, decision-making, and the application of knowledge and strategies. Critical thinking involves evaluating information, considering multiple perspectives, and making informed decisions. It enhances cognitive learning by fostering a deeper understanding and encouraging individuals to analyze and synthesize information. Emotions can significantly influence cognitive learning as well. Positive emotions can enhance memory and motivation, while negative emotions may hinder learning. Emotionally charged experiences are often better remembered due to the emotional arousal linked with cognitive processes. Cognitive learning stands out by focusing on mental processes, including perception, memory, and problem solving. 
It contrasts with behaviorism, which concentrates on observable behaviors and responses, highlighting the importance of internal cognitive structures. In education, cognitive learning principles are applied through instructional strategies that stimulate critical thinking and problem solving. In daily life, individuals consciously or unconsciously use cognitive processes to learn new information, adapt to challenges, and make decisions. In conclusion, cognitive learning offers a captivating lens through which to understand how the mind processes and utilizes information. Cognitive learning is a complex, multifaceted process that involves mental processes such as problem solving, critical thinking, memory, and perception. Inside learning and latent learning are important aspects of cognitive learning because they highlight the role of mental processes in acquiring knowledge and understanding. By exploring the components, applications, and influential figures associated with cognitive learning, we gain valuable insights into the intricate workings of the human mind. So that's it for this video. If you are looking for quality mental health resources, please visit my Etsy shop. The link is provided in the description box below. If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you're notified when the next video comes out. As always, thanks for watching.